Okay, baby, so basically today I'm gonna be doing my makeup while drinking. I don't drink much, so I don't know if I will be able to finish the look, but we'll just see. So stay tuned. And also, I ask questions on my Instagram, so I'm gonna be answering those questions as well while doing this whole routine situation, you know. So yeah, I already did my foundation and my eyebrows, but um, it's kind of melting now already because I've been busy all day and. And then after every question, I will take a shot. And guys, there's like what, 12, 14 questions. I think I'm not sure, but I wrote them all down. But Mara will see. I don't know what's gonna happen. Cause like when I get drunk, I get really messy and shit. So hopefully this look will come out. Um, okay. Yeah, we must see what what happens i don't have a short glass my parents don't drink they don't have these things for me to use but yeah oh yeah and i'm also not promoting any alcohol use or abuse or whatever this is just for fun and don't do this at all anyway guys you're not here for youtube um makeup tutorial you're here for questions and answers you know um if you could love anyway where would it be honestly for me personally i would say cape town or joba guys at the moment so island if it's like anywhere in the world so somewhere on an island but if it's in south africa probably cape town where there's like a beach for us kimberly people we don't know such things so we just used to drought <laughs> actually sad but okay guys my makeup <laughs> Ooh, yeah my foundation is literally coming off because of the heat so yeah what makes you laugh the most um what makes me laugh the most i have this weird habit that i laugh for for things for random things when i don't know if that's normal but I tend to laugh for dumb things that I'm like, was that even funny, you know? Like, honestly, I always ask myself, like, why did you laugh? But what makes me laugh the most is when someone just makes jokes that I can relate to. But if you make random jokes that I don't find, yeah, I'm gonna take a shot. Advice on what makes, what motivates you to a god. The thought of knowing that you don't have a choice but to be successful that's like what makes me work harder like i honestly tell myself every, every day like either you either you're successful or you're not so decide what you want to do and that kind of drives me to a god and to see all these people living on the street that also makes me realize that life isn't child's play guys life isn't child's play you have to motivate yourself and tell yourself that success is what you need to survive and that will instantly make you work harder because you notice all these people living on the streets and not having anyone to help them in any way but this is getting too deep guys so and i always speak a lot when it comes to life if anyone wants advice and stuff from me i'm always ready to you know share my life experiences and the lessons i've learned from these life mistakes actually i wouldn't say mistakes they more lessons to me than mistakes so yeah i'm always ready to share my experience on these lessons and the lessons i've learned in life you know so yeah why am i always getting so deep child anyway next question are you in a relationship no i'm not in a relationship However, I do have someone that I'm talking to. But, you know, I try not, I'm trying my best not to, like, catch feelings and actually fall in love like that, you know. Because when I do, I tend to get attached very quick. And for me, it's not easy to detach myself from someone, honestly. So, I'm not dating anyone. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not seeing anyone. 
you know i'm just talking so it's not like deep or anything it's just like you know vibes no title which is vibes what is something you dislike about me <sighs> disrespectful me bruh like that's something i cannot handle or like even tolerate in my life right now okay not all men but some men have that tendency where they they feel like it's okay to be disrespectful and i don't i really i've come across a lot a lot of guys that's very extremely cyber going just what yeah i was there child but okay rude and disrespectful to women for no reason just because they feel that they mean and they can do whatever they want to so that's what i don't like about guys like they feel like women are stupid and they feel like women don't have emotions and feelings i don't know if i even should say this but yeah just, they just feel like women are just slaves you know they can treat women the way they want to and that's some characteristic traits men have but not all men i swear not all men please set your mindset straight and understand that we humans we can stand on our own two feet and we have our own life to live so where do you come with your own hooters here yeah? uh -uh, respect respect what's your nickname honestly i don't have a nickname but like normally people call me on my ig and like some people call me Paris Bobby, but I don't really have a nickname to be honest. I just that's something I just you know made up myself. Shout out to my crush for for, for sending me this question. <laughs> He's obviously gonna see this video, but you know, child. Um, sunset to sunrise, sunset vibes because honestly, for me, sunrise is too early, and I don't wake up that early enough to see the sunrise. So for me sunsets they're the best man like i don't know we all have different opinions and things like that so that's for me that's my opinion so <laughs> sunset and you asked this question on that other q and a where i featured libs but guys if you haven't watched that video yet please go watch it it's on his channel <laughs> Like honestly, I do not understand this question. Someone asked me about the the war things and something of Gucci or something like that. So yeah, I'm not gonna answer that question because I really don't know the answer to that. And I'm sick of my just dumb. But for me, honestly, I feel like God will handle whatever's gonna happen with the war. God will handle. That's why I don't stress myself. Like it is a stressful situation, and you guys are probably gonna come at me with facts and what but honestly i feel like <laughs> there's nothing humans can do about the situation that's why i always leave things in god's hands he will he will do the most the solution to the problem is in his hands so i honestly won't stress myself and i don't i'm not gonna answer that question however i appreciate that you asked me the question but i'm gonna leave that in god's hands honestly someone asked me when are we gonna scut together again i watch for me We'll make a date we, when you guys are like down with exams and everything, then we will scut. But focus on your books, girl. Get that good grades because baddies, baddies don't settle for low grades. We aim for the highest and that's what it is, child. Oh, honey. And that's on par. That's on par. That's just what it is. So if you, if you focus on your books and you get good grades, I will definitely buy us a bottle. How would your friends describe you? I don't have much friends. That might sound depressing to you, but honestly, for me, I just feel like I had to cut off most of my friends because I wasn't growing when they were in my life. Let some people go. <laughs> like, straight up, man. People will really hold you back and take advantage. Why do I say that I'm dramatic? I'm a drama queen. And I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna do mixtures here right now. I don't care what's gonna happen. <laughs> Cause I already feel tipsy, but okay. Um, you know. Oof, I actually like this look. I don't know why, but it's giving me, you know, sunset vibes. Anyway, so I think anyone, if not. Like why do I always get this question? Y'all, y'all, y'all wanna cuff me or what's going on? Just for a... 
If not, do you have a crush? Guys, obviously, I have a crush, and his name is Dabang from what's his place name? Blood and Water. Okay, KB from Blood and Water. Dabang is his actual name. So, yeah, Dabang, guys, come on. It's a Dabang for me. It's Dabang for me. It's KB for me, child. So, yeah, it's Dabang. That's my ultimate crush. Like, whew, I would marry that guy, honestly. I would honestly marry him. So, yeah. Tabang. Tabang, tabang. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. What's one thing you like about yourself? Lips, actually. Yeah, this thing is just moving back. But Lips actually asked me this question and I didn't want to answer it because I actually. Just now I sound conceited and arrogant and but people don't understand the difference between confidence and arrogance and that's actually funny because most of these people that say i'm arrogant is the people that lack confidence say that are insecure about themselves they're so sad that the situation is not working on this thing and it's annoying me now but yeah it's not about source um so yeah, what I like of myself is everything, man. Wow. Ooh. Hmm. It's definitely everything. And I don't know which color I'm going for, but I'm going for blue. Alright. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go for blue. So, yeah. It's the vibes for me, child. Woo! She. She, 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 she. She, 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 she. I'm literally doing a color block thing, but it's cool because I'm still feeling this shit. Like, damn, who is you? I should be in a magazine, guys, honestly. You know what's up, please? I think about Diego Meister, you want to leave you on Candiri Salih, Yeri Kharik. You won't know whether you're coming or going. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In Dubai, shaking my ass. In a thong, on a yacht. <laughs> Ten years, I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna for real be that. So, next color is what color didn't I use? I used yellow. I used red. I used red. I used red. Now I'm gonna use orange. Oh, that's green. <gasps> wow, I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Like yellow. Now what's going on? Holy shit! Yeah, guys, I need to do my eyeliner and then I'm a, I'm a. Much, much, much later. Now let me try to my my eyebrow, uh, my eyelashes, and because. Mainly to be exact, you know, my situation is so busy. Anyway, to be safe, be safe. I've grown into, I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah.